do you most often fail to convert those very important interview calls into real-time job offers? My name is Kevin Kutto and in this video, I'm going to provide you a different perspective on how you could improve interview success rate. I have split down this topic into two videos. In first video, I'm going to talk about four foundational elements which are very necessary in order to prepare for an interview. In second video, I'm going to talk about how you can face your interview with the confidence. So let's begin with our first part, which is four foundational elements to prepare well, prepare effectively for a crucial interview. Element number one, job description or JD. When you begin your job search, the first and very important document you should look for is the job description or JD. Job description offer you many benefits. Benefit number one, it provides you clarity of thought around the next possible role. That boosts your self-confidence and it automatically reflects positively in your body language when you face the interview. Benefit number two, it provides keywords to you. You can copy these keywords or plug in those keywords into your resume and hence make your resume more noticeable and searchable on job portals. Benefit number three, it helps you to drill down to the skill set to handle each job responsibility. Now, once you have the list of skill sets, you can assess your areas of strength and weaknesses. You can bridge in your areas of weaknesses before you face the interviews and you can choose to capitalize on areas of strength. Benefit number four, it provides you clarity around many possible technical and non-technical interview questions around each skill set. And that way, it makes your interview preparation more focused than keeping it generic. Element number two, knowledge about your target company. Knowing about company's brief history, its locations, its products, brands, new launches, new market trends, market shares, big clients, all this information benefit you like anything during interview process. Benefit number one, it provides you clarity of thought whether you like this company or not. And if you are fully convinced that yes, this is my target company and when you go to the interview, it automatically reflects in your body language in positive sense. Benefit number two, you could impress an interviewer by using the information about the company and plugging in into the answers of a tricky questions. Let me give an example. Suppose you are going for the innovation engineer's role and you know company has recently launched some products in new technology. Now you can refer and say that I know that company has recently launched these, these products in new technology. And when I saw that, I got very excited because I love innovation and I have a lot of history in terms of contribution in the innovation field. I have uh, invented few patents. I have contributed a lot of ideas, conducted innovation workshop. And I believe that I could add a lot of value into innovation domain in your company. Now see, you use the company's information and plugged in into your answer, which will definitely impress an interviewer. Benefit number three, understanding about the company's product and domain can possibly open up a lot of interview questions, technical and non-technical uh, for your interview preparation. Let me give an example. Just imagine that you are going in the company for an interview which deals with the automobile interiors. Now, when you see the interiors, what you find? You find most of the parts are plastics and some of the parts are sheet metal. There is a lot of lighting inside. So definitely you can expect a lot of questions around plastic, sheet metals and lighting or consoles, right? So you can prepare well around these interview questions and that way it will benefit you in building your self-confidence. Benefit number four, it will highlight to the interviewer that you have 
studied well about the company and thus you are a very serious contender because you will not have come to the interview if you are not convinced that this is right company for you. Element number three, prepare well to answer the common interview questions. Now just imagine you are going to appear for a very critical exam and somebody come to you in advance, one month advance and telling you that take this question paper, you are going to get almost 50% questions from this question paper. What you will do? You will prepare well, right? But on contrary, many professionals don't prepare well to answer this question. They take these answers very casually. Most of them copy these answers from Google search and that way their answers are most predictable and boring. Now I'm not going to touch this topic in detail. In coming days, I'm going to prepare a lot of videos on how to answer these non-technical HR round questions. Element number four, scenario based or situational based or behavioral based questions. Now why these questions are being asked? It's very important for company to know your value system and presence of mind. Company has its own value system. If candidate's value system doesn't match, then you might be the misfit in the company's work culture. That's why company will put all these kind of questions in order to bring out your value system on the table. So what could be the different type of questions? Did you lie any type to the customer and why? Did you miss project deadline? Why? And how you handle that situation? Did you meet with escalations anytime? And how you handle those escalations? What are your opinions about firing somebody? How you manage a difficult to manage colleague or difficult to manage supervisor? What are your opinions about gender discriminations in the company? What are your opinions about religious or regional based discriminations in the company? These are all very tricky questions, but the answers of these questions will put out your value system in front of interviewer. So you have to be very careful when you answer these questions. If you build your interview preparation or study around these four foundational elements, then definitely your success rate in interview will enhance or increase substantially. Planning or studying is only one portion of facing the interview. But the next very important part is actually facing the interview and executing the plan. So in my next video, I'm going to talk about how you could face interview confidence. What are the do's and don'ts during the interview?